And welcome back to... Oh, wait, this is Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars The Old Republic. I'm off here, guys. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I uh, kind of want to say... Uh, I'm going to come clean here. <laughs> uh, I had a problem with the video earlier today, so... Uh, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. So, what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to have to re-record the whole commentary. Hopefully, I can get this done right. Without too much fussing. Yeah, pretty much I had, um, I had set it for record and, um, the game crashed on me. Hmm, it's the second time I've done that. Not quite sure what's going on with that. But it crashed and I end up having to, um, stop the sound recording, but I never stopped the video recording. I'm going to have a cutscene here shortly, so I'm going to be quiet. Yes. Yes, remarkable. Magnificent. You, you slave. Wait, no, acolyte. You're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos, yes? Yes, my lord. I found the holocron. Unbelievable. One thousand years buried in that tomb. Let Sith lords passing it by. And then the most unlikely person comes along. Tell me. How did you manage it? I shot lightning at it, and it opened. <laughs> Such a simple solution. Why did none of us think of that? We must have thought too deeply on it, believed too strongly that it could not be done. Or perhaps we were simply not meant to open it. Your work so far, in bringing back this holocron, and now the text from Tulak Hord's tomb, has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. I hope I live up to them. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. Oh, there's that. Oh, great. Now we're gonna speak to Harkon. I gotta pass as much love this Harkon as I do the one in Skyrim. What is with Harkon and Dix? I was just about to send Fon off. What delayed you, slave? Wait. Well, first Lord Zash stopped me to tell me how amazing I am, and then we got talking, and I guess I lost track of time. Just like a slave to make up stories. Lord Zash would crush you like a Gizka if you ever crossed her path. You're not worthy of her presence. Now. Did you collect the text from Tulak Horde's tomb? But of course I did. Of course. Come on. As always, I'm brilliant. Give it here. No doubt it's been badly damaged. It's what we get for sending a careless lowlife to do a Sith job. Isn't that right, Fawn? What are we waiting for, Overseer? Why don't we kill this wretch now? You have a big mouth, slave, but no combat skills. I don't want to see you again until you've satisfied the Korriban instructors. The training facility is on the second floor of the academy and is usually reserved for the Dark Lords and their apprentices. This is not a promotion, and you are not to speak to anyone except the training master when you are up there, understand? You are not fit for their presence. Sure, sure. Jackass. Please tell me Fawn can come. We'll have so much fun. Fawn has been training oh, in yes. combat his whole life. He was born to be Sith. You are just as likely to chop your own arm off as not, slave. Now get going to the second floor training grounds. You don't want to keep the instructors waiting. Oh, good job, Fawn. Been, a whole, been learning fighting all the whole time, right? All for your whole life. And you still got your training wheels on? What's with the damn light? I'm in a training saver. Man. Is that credits? Box full of credits. And 
and I should be running up to just about the point to where my video crashed. Maybe not. Oh yeah. I need to go clean out the bank. Yes. Clean out Indeed. inventory. I love it. I, I don't know where that comes from. You got uh, the game's got a problem where it won't pick up. I don't know if it's just lag from the audio cue. But sometimes the character will start to speak when there's no one around me. What can I get for you? Hey, you can take this crap. Eh, don't need that. Don't need that. Hey. Don't need this. Uh, might want to keep that. Keep that. Uh, mm, crap. 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 Hmm, crap. Get rid of that stuff. Come up there. You know you want to. Get rid of it. Damn it. Don't keep that shit. It's beginner gear. Get dump the shit. Ah, hey, good girl. There you go. Dump that shit too. Yeah, you can't use that. That might be useful. Nope, shit. You don't need it. It's lower level. Come on now. You want to upgrade here, not keep shit. This actually might be something better. No, it's the same. Might look different now. Eh. It's alright. Not bad. Got the whole bathrobe thing going on. That is cool, but I'm not sure about the color. Come back anytime. If you say so. I like that. It's got a cool. It's got uh, where you can match colors. Kind of makes your outfit look the same. Without having to dye anything. So that's pretty cool. This is what I was talking about the uh, me purchasing the extended inventory with my credits I got from subbing because I did sub and they gave me like five five thousand five hundred credits I wish it was five thousand and right here is where I start to lag out all right okay so I'm loading back into the game now and uh Sure as hell didn't realize I was on an RP server for some reason. Oi. Just... Can't believe it. Uh, I don't think that's not something I would normally choose for myself, so I can't really see that happening. Oh, get to go get some new skills now. See what skills we can get. At last, a worthy disciple. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, let's cute recklessness, unbreakable will. Let's see what unbreakable will summons the unbreakable will of the Sith. Immediately purging and yeah. status removement. Recklessness grants two charges of recklessness, which increases the force critical chance. Yeah, interesting. Not quite sure what that means. I'd have to see what the force does, or the uh, force charges do. Looks cool though. 
yeah, at this point I hadn't really decided whether I want to do, um, I'm thinking Sith Sorcerer, but I really haven't decided whether I want to go, um, Corruption, which is their healer, or Lightning. Lightning seems really cool. I seen a guy, or a character I should say, play on lightning spec and it was like completely overpowered. Oh, Humpty did Dumpty. I love hello this part. there, friend. You remember my Why, brother hello, and me from downstairs? With Harkin, yes, right? Yes, dumb and dumber. Sorry it had to yeah. be this way. We don't like it any more than you do. Well, maybe a little more. Now you're just lying to me. This sounds vaguely like a threat. What did I ever do to you guys? I'm sorry, girl. I liked you. I really did. The Harker made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. <laughs> Make it a big mistake. You will regret that. We don't want to. But we know we can't beat Fon, and we'll never be Sith. At least this way we can go home, alive. Quiet, Balak. The time for talk is past. Fight for your life, Acolyte. Man, if I had a dollar every time someone said that to me here, I'd be rich. Well, this guy seems like a pushover. Terry, I can't wait to get rid of that damn training stick. I gotta go back to Hawk Round. Harpoon. Well, well. Look who shows up at long last. I half expected to hear you'd crossed some Dark Lord upstairs and finally got yourself killed. None of the others have shown up either. I assume they're dead by now, which means you yep. and Fon are the last ones. He's next. So I just kill Fon and I'm Sith, right? This shouldn't take long. Wrong. Your final trial will be to retrieve an ancient map from the innermost chamber of Naga Sado's tomb, which has never been breached in thousands of years. But before you get the map, you'll have to awaken an ancient assassin called Dashard that sleeps in the tomb. You cannot access the map without him. Understand? And I care because? What's so special about this map? Lord Zash wants it. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be competing with Fawn for this map. Whoever brings it back will be Lord Zash's apprentice. The other will die. And Fawn's already started, so my advice? Run, slave. Run. Um, <clears throat> one moment, please. Lord Zash! What are you doing here? Overseer, are you implying that I, a Lord of the Sith, don't have the right to go where I please within the Academy of the Sith? No, That's what of saying. course not, Lord Zash. Good. I saw the last Acolyte arrive. I wanted to see the hopefuls off on their final trial. Where's, um, what's his, the red one, Fawn? He finished his no trial problem. early, so I sent him on rather than keeping him waiting for this. Pity. I just finished translating the wonderful text this Acolyte brought from Tulak Horde's tomb. And it's most illuminating. I don't know that the map can be retrieved without it. Whoops. Uh-oh. Fawn's in trouble. It's too late. <laughs> Fawn's already left. You can't just... W give one acolyte an unfair advantage over the other? Overseer, when has being Sith ever been about being fair? 
Now, no shit, my right? dear acolyte, here is what you must do to free the Deshard. There are rods scattered throughout the tomb of Nagasado. These rods are the keys to the chamber where the ancient assassin is imprisoned. You will need to place the rods in the chamber door and electrify them. I don't know exactly the reason, but it is clear that you will not be able to retrieve the map without the Deshard. But be careful, he is very dangerous. I'll use caution. I will return when both acolytes are back from the tomb. You will not do anything further to affect the outcome of the trial. Understood? Yes, Lord Zash. Good. And good luck, Acolyte. Damn. How are you, level 10? Oh, looking good, looking good. about this game though I mean some parts are real nice in it I don't know it, it's I get engrossed in the movie and the I say movie yeah it feels like what it feels like I get engrossed in the storyline and then all of a sudden something rips me right out of the story I'm like seriously uh, that's my only gripe I kind of wish it was, uh, I don't know, the animations feel a little stiff. You know, I wish they were a little more fluid. I mean, any game nowadays, and I mean nowadays within the last five years, has some sort of, some sort of, uh, physics in the actual character. Uh, Acolyte, up this may I speak to you for a moment? <sighs> Go ahead. Of course you can. Thank you. I'm honored that you would do me the courtesy. There was another acolyte not long ago who entered this tomb and did not come back. He... he died in there. Death is merely the final failure of the weak. That seems even more true on Korriban, I'm afraid. The acolyte who went in there, he... he was a good sort. Friendly and talkative. He said he was entering the tomb to prove himself to his father. I just thought it would be nice if somebody took his body back and told his father he didn't make it. You got legs, don't you? Here's some damn thing. Yes, the father should be told that his son has fallen. I'd never survive in there. And even if I did, I wouldn't be allowed to see his father. He is a Dark Honor Guard stationed in the Academy. None but Sith can ever set foot on the sacred ground where he stands watch. But you could find the body and bring it to his father. Please do this and honor the Fallen. I can absolutely well, do that. Thank you so much. If you find the Acolyte's remains inside the tomb, let me know. I can tell you where to find his father in the Academy. Good luck. Wrong body. Come on. There it is. That's the right body. Let's go. Come on, now let's move it. Yep, that's it. Yep, that's it. One there, one there, one there. There's four of them. Four of them. <laughs> this is why I got screwed up, I guess. Uh-oh. Got some 
artifacting in the video, but it might clear out once I get the uh, render done. Should clear out. I don't know. I never tried. A, I never tried doing a 50-minute video in uh, VLC. It's uh, chunking pretty bad there. Now these guys aren't that hard, oh, man. Now, these guys Later on, you'll start to get the, um, those droids later in the dungeon. Oh my god, them things are hardcore. Look at them. I'm still ready to die. Woohoo! Stay down, bitch. You too. I said stay down, bitch. I like that shot. Although it's got a hell of a cool down time. You got knocked out. Look out. Yep, you could have gone. Could have gone straight ahead. You went the long way around. I didn't know there was a sub. There's a submission in here. Yeah, these guys are really hurting me. Yeah, from here on, I'm gonna be. Yeah, that's why I was trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. You know, sorcerer or assassin. I'm thinking I'm gonna go. I did eventually, eventually go corruption though. Although, uh, it seems interesting. I still might end up rolling another, another. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I gotta see if I can respec. If I can respec, I'll try out. Try to run. Um, the uh, lightning. Cause that looks like it's so satisfying to get. I really do like the way it looks. I mean, I saw this guy just walk up and just AOE like three elite mobs. I said, "Holy crap!" I'm gonna have to. From this point on, I'm gonna end up having to heal after each damn pull. Yep, not fun, not fun. Ooh. Definitely tell I'm getting better at this. Oh god, if I would have caught video the first time I played through uh, the Sith Inquisitor, oh my god, it would have been a nightmare. Uh, you don't need to mess with them, just go. Uh oh, more droids. These are not the droids you're looking for. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, that stun move is pretty nice. I mean, I got a stun move. I think it was a level two for a first stun move. It lasts three seconds, but it's not 100%. It seems to the latest one I got is 100%. But it's got a long time. Oh, yeah. I still gotta figure out what, what, um, what specs, or not specs, but what, um, stats she uses to heal. I was gonna say you use, you want to use force, but I don't know if that's the only stat you need to use or not. Wow. 
Or I can talk to this coffee pit. Well, heal up. Come on now, heal up. Feels like I'm doing a play by play, not playing the game. And she opens up with the knockdown. Yes, now she's throwing lightning out. All right, yes. All right. And she stunned the guy. Now she's working on the rich, the rich guy. Finish shot through the one that's almost dead. And then, lightning strike. Come on now. Oh. She just went straight for the kill. Didn't even bother with the lightning strike. Uh-oh, she's going up. She saw the next staff. Picking up the next lightning rod. Now she's going to kill these droids. No, wait. You got to go. Yeah, you got to go back in the other room. There you go. Strike! Lightning strike! Oh yeah, she's got that. Oh yeah. Stun! Go for a stun! Go for a stun! Go for a stun! Oh, knockdown! Stun! And she goes with the lightning strike. Oh, stun him! Although she should have just stunned and killed the the last one or the other one. Oh, don't. Don't, oh, don't, oh, you gotta heal. You gotta heal, damn it. Heal. I don't know, guys. This don't look good for Fia. He's, uh, getting a little bit too big for Bridges. She needs to heal. Uh oh. She's not gonna make it this one. Got a room full of these droids and she ain't healed. Yep. Yeah. Retreat, retreat! That's not gonna be enough. And that's it. I did manage to get one down, but I died right after this. Yep. There we go. Cool thing, Doc? You can call medic. Pick you up. I think there's a time limit on that. And I think you gotta pay for after level 10, I think you gotta pay for it. Or something like that. Alright, heal up now. Come on now. Go ahead, get full get full charge. Go in there. I'm gonna go in there and whoop some ass. There you go. Get that hundred percent. There you go. Get in there, do the same thing. Knock him down. Lightning strike. Yes. Oh, 
Oh. Zap his ass. There you go. Now let's keep him. Oh, yeah. Now, just... Yeah, just be careful. Just let me not be able to go Oh, yeah. That's good. Damn it. I'm just starting to respawn. So how many is that? That's, I think that's three now. Yeah, that's three. I think get one more. Oh, get it. I don't know what many these boys are damn hard to kill. I noticed about later in game, like I'm playing my um, Sith Juggernaut. <laughs> It's like I mean I don't know. It's like really, really hard for me to kill something on my Sith Juggernaut. Yeah, I mean I got my character and then I got the companion set up as a healer. And it just like oh my god, I think today I it took it took me like it'll be a rare Kill the rare boss. Well, it wasn't even a rare boss, it was a quest boss. It took me forever to kill the damn thing. I mean, I'm not kidding you. It took me 10 minutes to kill this thing. 10 minutes. Like, he had ads to spawn with him. I. I got him down to like 25% and his ads respawned. Couldn't believe it because I killed those first. <laughs> it took, took me from the time to get him from 100 to 25% to, to, for his ads to respawn. I couldn't believe it. I was like, man, now I had to kill those again. I wasn't happy about that. That was uh, taking me off. And the whole time I'm up there dozing off and like, like man, this is boring. But I did end up actually getting some upgrades and upgrading my lightsaber. And I'm not saying it's a great upgrade. But it's it was a notable difference. It doesn't it doesn't seem as bad. But right now, as it is right here, this character here, I mean, it seems really OP. Well, except for these swords, these swords are really hand in the ass. I just find it, I don't know, I find it that it's not, what's the word I'm looking for, believable, that you're sitting there, you have two droids you're fighting, one droid can hold me, all my attention for that long, and the other droid just, just doing pop shots at me. If you're gonna do it that way, then those swords should be like super, super dead. And, and they are. I mean, if I would've come here on any lower, I think this quest is like level 8. If I would've came here on level 8, this thing would have wrecked me. Hard to do. But you can see right there, I'm level 10 and I'm killing a level 10 droid, so I'm still having a hard time. But. You know, she took on four. You know, she could take on four characters, uh, four mobs. <laughs> it's like, that's just a little unbelievable. I mean, it's like you're trying to stretch the truth just a little too far there. I know you are still trying to make the Jedi and the Sith be like super warriors, but I don't know. You know, reality's gonna come. 
come in there sometime. Yeah, I know, reality. This is really grounded in reality when you got uh, space travel or interplanet travel. Swords of light. <laughs> they cut through anything. Apparently not being able to cut through the, uh, another light sword. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're just stretching, stretching reality just a bit there. So why not be able to make them take on four people at once? game might have been better off being a skill base well not skill base but action action based MMO more so than you know the tab target MMO that it is <laughs> of course though I didn't like the way Conan was done Conan just they tried to do the whole action MMO thing and it just I didn't like the way the controls felt. It felt really, really awkward. Anywho, try not to relate games to other games, I guess. <laughs> A lot of people don't like it when you do that. All right, this should be the last room we need to go into. <clears throat> and I hope I'm not getting sick. I've been fighting this uh, sinus thing all day long. It's killing me right now. I'm gonna cough up a storm. And I coughed so much, I damn side hurt. <laughs> while they're down. <laughs> Don't let it go up. That's a pretty good job. Can't complain, you can't complain. Sides are oh, I like my kicked in the ribs. That's kind of cool. Is there a third person in this game? That would've been that would be kind of cool. I'm sorry, not third, but first person. And here I go. I <laughs> I completely overestimate this guy. You know, I'm, I'm spending this video really, really hard after the you know the pain in the butt it was to get here from all those damn droids. I'm like, oh, well, maybe I should put some heels on my bar here. I completely over. I mean, over. In places, I mean, why is this guy? Go and did I seek from Tauhans? 
Tokida Melaswe Sama World Sign In Merem Nai Saigat Rawad Degal Chagasar Chais and Barks Prize War Pairen Swase Ik Bus Karadida Come again. These were the instructions Zash gave me. I am to free you, and you will take me to the map in the final chamber of the tomb. Aba Barna Habans, Glaubena, Ni in Usakwai, Usi Terrans Apipao. Was Jabe, wise Jabe, Prophetis. I'm sorry, you were speaking American. What? I don't know how to say it. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but Tulak Horde is dead. He places Amin's why heist fools. Go and did a seek from Tauhans. A progatua in a in the Lausolam. Jagasa dida do ima. Twadi in warpai and parlai kain. Like melt and like butter, man. I can't believe it. This, is, this guy's like complete wuss. Ni ok panai name in my dens. Ipsic air by Kunana, Jaus air by Rojandan, in Bise Vistai. In Bizo the White Tai Spila Press in Kretai. In Bise Ewanata, Atragata in Jais. Obey or perish. Sisunja, you all obey? Targi yeah. Skolan. One little quest and you get a damn level. Son of a gun. God, I can't believe how much you gained off these things. The uh, subscription, <laughs> subscription based model is kind of OP. Because they got it. Supposedly they streamlined the game to where you can just, you know, not have to play it, not have to do so many quests and get a level. But it also accounts for. Well, it doesn't account for um because it's basically it's like two levels or two three percent more um, i'm sorry two three hundred i mean it's like two to three times the xp i normally get off these quests I don't know, I think I'm gonna like this Sith, um, Inquisitor, I think I do, I mean I kinda like the, I, I like the Juggernaut, but then it's pretty boring, you know, I mean there's not a lot of skill. I guess you're gonna get more skills as you go on, but there doesn't seem to be that many different types of skill. I mean, I mean, I got like six different saber skills for my juggernaut. I'm like, how many saber skills do you need? I mean, <laughs> you can only slash so many ways, right? It's either up, down, left, or right, and side to side. <laughs> well, apparently you need six different ways to slice. Yes, we got Julian cut. We got Crinkle cut. We, it's like, seriously, guys, come on now. 
Not the Ginyu set. Yeah, see, he's got basic. He's got the basic, uh. That would be the basic warrior set. Or set of skills. Yeah, it's DD set of skills. What the John? I think I said in the last video, every time I hear him speak, I'm waiting for Duhas to start kicking in from Ram Ramstein. Yes, he sounds exactly like the lead singer from that. Now this guy tanks like a boss in this thing. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what the hell? Look at that. Almost no. Almost no. Uh, hit points lost during that. Well, when my character gets smacked, it takes almost 9% 9, 9 off her um, health bar. But Kim, Kim, he's already getting touched. He ain't got a scratch on him. And that's why you get this character. That's why you get this companion for, for this class. He's a he's your tank. You know, he goes in and takes all the hits while you try to do the ER um, heal. I don't know about the healing. I haven't tried healing on him. I mean I tried healing a little bit on it, but excuse me. But the uh the cast time on the heals. Oh my god, it's like two seconds to cast. I can, I can, I'm not kidding. A two second cast time on heal. I'm like, really? I'm like, man, you need to. I better be getting a trait that lowers that. Because I can't see that being, you know, usable in like a party format. I'm like, okay, well, my heals are 2.5 seconds long. <laughs> and that's just to cast it. to the end of the episode here yep I actually end the episode right here and I guess I will go to it now all right guys if you like this leave a like down below if uh, you like to see more go ahead and let me know and as always take care good night and I'll see you guys next time